Though it's been several years since Scott Monfort tore his ACL playing lacrosse, he still thinks about it today, no matter what type of exercise he's doing. Even if it's, you know, just playing like a rec, rec football game or something like that, you know, I'm much more, I feel like, in tune or... Uh, aware of how my how my knee is feeling. That's not uncommon. In fact, a new study from the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center shows that following an ACL injury, our brains literally change and our movements are modified. Like walking in the dark, you don't walk as fast, you don't move as confidently. Well, these individuals may at a smaller sense be doing the same thing, not moving as confidently. To understand why, researchers looked at the brain activity in several athletes. While lying in an MRI machine, they had volunteers move their legs and noticed a surprising difference between those who have had knee injuries and those who haven't. We found that even a very simple knee movement that wasn't very complex at all, the brain changed immensely if you've had this anterior cruciate ligament ACL tear. After an injury, images show our brains rely on vision more than instinct when moving our knees. That can be distracting and in athletes may put them at risk for further injury. To help prevent that, athletic trainers are using special glasses in rehab that have a strobe effect. The idea is to preoccupy a patient's eyes so they use their knees more instinctively. If we can knock down visual processing, we think we could force the brain to use the sensory system it was meant to use and then hopefully lower their risk of injury after they go back to play and improve their rehabilitation. Which makes sense to Scott, who says it's hard to move forward from injury as long as his knee is in the back of his mind. At Ohio State Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.